Welcome to the Paul Mirage School of Business 2020 commencement. It's my honor as Dean to address you, our distinguished group of graduates, as your friends, faculty, and family come together to celebrate this special milestone in your lives. Congratulations to each of you, and congratulations to all who sacrificed and supported you on this journey. I really wish we could spend this day together in person, but that obviously is not possible due to the current circumstances. After nearly two decades as a dean, I never imagined that my final commencement would take place virtually. I'm sure you never imagined the culmination of your time at UCI would end this way either. But here we are, and that's because of a larger purpose. We are trying to achieve something together, not just as a community here in Orange County, but as a global community. You, graduates, will go on to leadership positions in myriad sectors across our nation, state, and world. You represent innovators, current and future business founders, change makers, and thoughtful leaders. We are proud to call each of you anteaters, now and always. Here at the Mirage School, we're known for innovation, and we've really had to lean into our reputation for digitally driven leadership in recent weeks. In a matter of days, our faculty and support team seamlessly transitioned to virtual learning across all of our programs, making our world-class business education accessible to students all around the globe. With our creativity, technical expertise, and a lot of hard work, together, we're facing the most uniquely challenging period in the Mirage School's history. While we applaud our staff and faculty and greater Mirage community for making this transition possible, the most significant praise goes to you, our students, and now our graduates. During these difficult circumstances, you all came together and you supported each other and you showed us how anteaters respond in the face of adversity. We don't back down, we don't give up, we work together, we fight, and ultimately we thrive. This class has embodied the essence of what it means to be a contemporary leader in our school and in our communities. Graduates, you have inspired us, selflessly led us, and taught us how business goes far beyond profitability. Through countless events, numerous service projects, and intentional conversations, you have reminded us that the most important thing in business, and in life for that matter, is of course our relationships. I'm not only proud of how you represent us as business leaders, I'm proud of the people that you are. As a marketing professor, I always care about how data informs our ability to serve the customer. So class of 2020, let's talk a few stats. First, 60% of you have connected with the school to talk about postgraduate leadership roles and ways to make an impact on those succeeding you. The class of 2020 is one of connection. Second, 70% of you will be taking on new professional roles. That's an impressive stat considering the job market that we are entering. And given the circumstances, your new roles will look very different than many of you expected, but you have the attitude and the tools necessary to face these new challenges. The class of 2020 is indeed one of growth and innovation. Third, 95% of you participated in a Mirage community event during your time on campus, further emphasizing your investment in our community. The class of 2020 is one of participation. Albert Schweitzer said, you must give some time to your fellow men. Even if it's a little thing, do something for others, something for which you get no pay but the privilege of doing it. I believe he was right. And many of you have shown that you believe this as well. Perhaps what I'm most proud of is your servant leadership. Many of you have spearheaded projects related to supporting those affected by COVID-19. You've sacrificed time, energy, and in some cases, your own well-being to serve others. The class of 2020 is one of selflessness. I hope you continue to appreciate that spirit of caring and giving I've seen demonstrated by many of you as students here in the Mirage School and as business people in our communities, both locally and globally. Never forget this spirit as you travel through your professional and personal lives. Sometimes these opportunities serve our business needs. Other times they simply serve human needs both are important as we consider the world we live in and the world we want future generations to inherit. I encourage you to figure out where and how you can continue to serve others and then do so with the passion you brought to your time here in the Mirage School. Well, to wrap things up, I'll leave you with something my mother used to say to me. She said, Eric, be nice, it matters. 
You represent the best that society has to offer, but your accomplishments in academia and in the world of business do not entirely define you. You will also be remembered here in the Mirage School because of your acts of kindness, selflessness, and thoughtfulness. As you step into this next phase of your life, continue to be nice. It will serve you well. Class of 2020, today is your day. You represent one of the most impressive classes in the history of the Palmeraz School of Business. On behalf of our community, I thank you for the leadership that you have shown and will continue to show as you impact the world around you. Now more than ever, the world needs leaders like you. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Good morning, Class of 2020. As Associate Dean of the Master Programs at Mirage, I truly wish that I could congratulate you in person. But this year, our celebratory events must be done at arm's length, and in today's case, virtually. While this event is not ideal by any means, it is at least going to be quite memorable. Hugs and handshakes are an indelible part of our celebration. But this year, I can only wave to you and say a few words here. Congratulations, FEMBA class of 2020. We are excited that our second hybrid cohort graduates this year. We know you have worked hard and accomplished a lot. Many of you have changed the jobs and received a promotion or two all while juggling your demanding MBA coursework and personal lives. Congratulations on your accomplishments. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we accomplished individually and collectively things that nobody would have imagined we could. In that sense, we have all had to graduate early from our comfort zones and embrace radical change in ways that have never been thought of. This is why I believe that the resilience you have experienced as a class of 2020 will carry with you in all walks of life. Every red light eventually will become green. I hope you envision ways to become the green light that will carry your businesses, communities, and employees to new heights. Again, congratulations to all of you. Zot, zot, zot. I want to start off by saying that I'm extremely grateful for all the people I've met and the friends I've made over these past three years. Having a strong support system is so important when you're in grad school, and there's no way I could have gone through this alone. Even though I didn't get to know everyone as much as I would have liked, I think that everyone in the class of 2020 is an incredible person. Between work, school, our personal lives, and everything in between, we all managed to make it through. The lesson I learned during my time in the FEMBA program is that if you really want to accomplish something, you'll figure out a way to make it happen. I know that this isn't how we expected commencement to look like, but I'm so happy that we have this moment to celebrate this accomplishment together. I want to wish the class of 2020 all the best and success in our future endeavors. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. Congratulations, FEMBA class of 2020. We made it. After three long years of hard work and long hours and sleepless nights and stress prepping for those classes, projects, papers, we have made it to the finish line. Especially as FEMBAs, we have a unique challenge of balancing our work during the day and school during night and weekends. We are now ready to pursue our new careers, our future, and the lives that is set ahead of us. I just want to take this opportunity to share a couple of lessons that I've learned over the past three years going through this program. Number one is you never know what your next opportunity is going to look like. Whether you're meeting with your professors, talking with your classmates, meeting with recruiters, talking with your friends and family, Sometimes what you have in mind and what you've been pursuing and what your goal is, is going to take you far. It's going to drive what your next skill set is going to be. It's just going to drive that passion within you. 
but because we're still exploring, we're still trying to figure out what it is, the next step, how do we get to where we need to go? You don't know what that next opportunity will look like. And so you wanna make sure that you keep an open mind so that when something pops up, and if you're looking for it and you're open for it, you're gonna know right away that that's the next step. That's the next step that you need to take to achieve your goal. And don't be afraid to fail, especially when life gives you a curveball or you take the career path you never expected you're gonna take. Uh, so many times throughout this program where I've taken on new challenges and uh, I've never had the opportunity for no experience but kind of have a little bit of idea and I did my best to quickly learn, look for advice, get ideas of how I want to approach that and to be in that moment is the first time you're going to have that experience to put your best foot forward, to do your best to remember different moments, why did you do things, the different experiences and ultimately it helps you to learn from your mistakes and so that you can do better for next time. And lastly, I ask everyone, just look at everyone around you. Look at your friends, look at your family, your bosses, your coworkers, your classmates, professors, the program office. Everyone around you who have been with you through this whole process, they're an outlet for us to support us and so that we can always be putting our best foot forward. And don't be afraid to ask for help. I know it can be challenging at times where to humble ourselves, to really be the ones to feel the pressure that we need to be the people who are pushing forward and being the ones to deliver, but don't be afraid to ask for help. You can't do it on your own, no matter what, whether it's because of the skill set, because of what you know, because of the time and energy. Ask for help, it will help you to succeed in the future. And lastly, stay connected. Everyone has something different to bring to the table. Everyone has a unique view. You never know what it is, whether it's expertise, knowledge, or even just that word of encouragement to help you get through that next step. So I wish everyone the best. I look forward to a bright future with everyone. Hey all, Chris Bauman here. I wanted to show you just how bad my hair looks and just how long my beard has gotten in the last few months. Uh, but in addition, I thought you really genuinely deserve a hearty congratulations for all that you've accomplished over the years. Uh, it's been a pleasure to teach those of you who took my negotiations class, but I wish all of you uh, the very best in the future. Congratulations. Dear FEMA class of 2020, it was such a pleasure getting to know you all through the admissions and application process, and an even greater pleasure watching you grow over the last three years of the program. I wish you all the best of success in life and look forward to having you stay in touch in the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. It was an honor and privilege to be part of your journey. Now go out there and change the world. I wish you lots of love and happiness in your life. This is a shout out to the class of 2020. Of course, I wouldn't be a good strategy professor if I didn't do a five forces of Mirage MBA grads. In terms of rivalry, you have few rivals. You have no barriers. You will accept no substitutes. I encourage you to consume your career with fury because you will supply your own greatness. Good luck. Best wishes to all of you. Hey, Fully Employed MBAs, class of 2020, congratulations. This is John Kaplan, Assistant Dean of MBA and Specialty Master's Programs. Just wanted to give you guys a big shout out on an amazing accomplishment. Congratulations. Uh, enjoy the completion of your program, and we look forward to working with you guys as alumni. Take care, all right? Congratulations to the class of 2020. Today is your big day, and nothing can take that away from you. What feels like the end is often the beginning. You are not closing the door to Paul Mirage and your life as an MBA student, but rather you are now someone holding the door of opportunity open for others. You are now a Paul Mirage anteater, the rarest and most special of all anteaters out there. So zot on class of 2020 and remember, the sun will rise and it will set regardless. What we choose to do with the light while it's here is up to us. Journey wisely class of 2020 and congratulations once again. Hey class of 2020, just wanted to record a quick shout out here and congratulate you all on completing your MBA. This feel a little bit weird to not be with you guys in person or do a, an in-person commencement, but um, uh, to be continued. Hopefully we will be able to do one um, sooner rather than later for you guys. Um, and we'd love to see you in person, congratulate you in person. But for now, um, just wanted to give you a quick shout out and give you some words of advice. I really enjoyed working with so many of you through the admissions process and also working with you, with you throughout the program. You guys have been a great class to work with and just wanted to give you a few quick bits of advice. First of all, first and foremost, you're, you're done with your MBA. 
but hopefully you've made some amazing connections while you're here. Your classmates were incredible. They're a great group of people, very strong, very smart. Hopefully you made some great relationships with them. Please stay in touch with them um, and have them stay in touch with you as well. I graduated in 2006 and still get together with my classmates. We all have kids. Our lives are very, very busy, but make sure you, you make the time for your great classmates. You never know what's gonna happen in the future and you may start a business with somebody in your class or in another section. So please do keep up those relationships. Um, the other thing is just remember the confidence you gain throughout the program. You're graduating now, you finished all of your, your requirements, your courses, but remember that opening residential when there was a shock and awe, oh my goodness, what, you know, what, what's gonna be expected of me in this program? You probably weren't as confident back then with your first class, but just think of how confident you are now. And remember that confidence when you're at MBA level interviews and you're, you're moving up in your organization and negotiating for salaries and negotiating for positions, just remember all that confidence and you're gonna go very, very far. And keep learning, absolutely keep learning. Um, lifelong learning here at Mirage, but please come back and visit, attend our events, uh, visit us anytime. We'd love to see you, love to hear from you. Uh, and again, we wish we could be with you. Um, we know this is a very, very unique <laughs> situation for, um, for the class of 2020, and uh, we, we do wish we could be with you. But all the best to you as you graduate here, and definitely come back and see us. And we hope to see you at a revised uh, graduation soon. Hello, everyone. I'm Professor Emil Pilafidis, and I'd like to congratulate the FEMBA class of 2020. Uh, what a special occasion and uh, uh, something that you'll remember forever. And I'm so pleased to at least uh, give you a virtual congratulations. Particularly, I want to give a shout out to the students, the FEMBA students I've had in the Mirage Consulting Projects course this spring. And I'd like to say uh, many thanks to Todd Yamada, to Francisca Shayo, to Duncan McClure, uh, to Jimmy Lee, and to Diana Carrera for being such great uh, representatives of the school with, uh, with companies like Medtronic and, and, and uh, SAP and Johnson & Johnson. It's been a great experience. Uh, it's been great working with you and hopefully one of these days we'll meet in person. We've done everything uh, in our projects virtually the last few months, but I'm looking forward to meeting you in person. Again, congratulations everybody for a great uh, achievement. Take care. Hello, FEMBA 2020 class. Uh, congrats on achieving this amazing feat in your lives. I hope you're all doing well. I miss you lots and stay in touch and have fun. Bye. Hi, it's been quite some time ago since I had you in my class. It's great that you have now successfully completed the program. Congratulations. I just want to wish you all have a wonderful career and bright future ahead of you. Congratulations to the FEMBA class of 2020. It seems like it was almost yesterday that was orientation and opening residential for you guys. Uh, congratulations again, well deserved. Hello, UCI class of 2020. This is Professor Eric Van Horn, and I just wanted to say congratulations, accomplishment. Well, well done. Even in these crazy times, um, you know, what you were able to do is, is outstanding and you should be commended for it. Um, keep your inquisitive attitude. You guys are a great class. Um, ask a lot of questions as you go along in life. It's the way you learn. And, uh, you know, be committed. It's a strange time, but it's going to create a lot of opportunities and take advantage of that. You guys learned probably a lot more than you think you did during your program and, and things will, will come to you quicker and you could, you should apply them and, and really uh, do your best. But I know you will. You're a great class. And again, congratulations. Hello, class of 2020. First, Congratulations! You've arrived. You've done what you set out to do. A virtual commencement is not what any of us planned, but here we are. I can imagine that you have some grief over what spring quarter and this commencement could have been. 
and acknowledging that sadness and sense of loss on the one hand, I simultaneously hope this time sheltering in place has presented some unique insight and opportunities. Maybe in the last few months, your family and loved ones have been able to see up close the effort you've put in to earn this degree. Maybe a recorded message allows you to pause and translate into a parent's or grandparent's native language and to share this moment even more than you would have been able to if it were live. Maybe not being packed in the floor of the Bren, you can sit closer to loved ones than you would have and then see their eyes shimmering with pride. I've never been one to recommend just focusing on the positives in life. I believe in seeing it all. What's hard alongside what's beautiful? What's challenging along with what calls to be celebrated? And I believe in taking opportunities when they present themselves. So being together in this moment, take time to thank your loved ones while you celebrate your degree. This has, after all, been a time of family, whether it's chosen or biological family. We've had to rely on each other it's a good reminder of how it has always been. Along the way, someone, maybe the person beside you, has had your back. We celebrate you and all those who have supported you along the way. Congratulations! congratulations. All right, congratulations again, FEMBA Class of 2020. We certainly wish that we could celebrate with you today in person and congratulate you on all of your accomplishments. But hopefully this video will suffice and we hope that you're watching it and enjoying it and celebrating with your family and your loved ones. We look forward to getting back together with you when it's safe on campus. We'll hold a celebration banquet um, so we can congratulate you in person. Um, right now, I do want to recognize that it is an incredible feat to have finished your MBA. I remember that experience many, many years ago and uh, we're all very, we are very, very proud of each and every one of you. Um, however, some of you um, certainly excelled in your MBA and uh, really relished in that. And we are here right now to award the top 20%, the Beta Gamma Sigma recipients uh, of the FEMBA Class of 2020, as well as the Dean Scholars Award, which is the top 12%. And I will also recognize the top GPA in the FEMBA Class of 2020. So first off, I do want to, um, first of all, give you a little bit of background on Beta Gamma Sigma. Uh, membership into Beta Gamma Sigma is highly selective. It is the largest alumni group in the world for graduates of business programs. Membership requirements include that a student must be in the top 10% of a baccalaureate business program or the top 20% of a top master's business program like the federal program. So all of the academic award recipients are Beta Gamma Sigma. Um, then the Dean Scholars Award I'll, I'll read uh, next, which is the top 12%, also Beta Gamma Sigma. And of course, our top GPA is all three, top GPA plus Dean Scholar plus Beta Gamma Sigma. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. And I will go ahead and read off the awards for Beta Gamma Sigma. And everyone, uh, most everyone, has actually put a little bit about themselves in, in addition to themselves, which is great. So let's go ahead and get started with Beta Gamma Sigma, the top 20%. In alphabetical order, the first one is Harrison Burka. Christina Javier Catabe. Paul Cho. Diana Higby. Lana Komleva. Peter Komotiki. Tina McClelland. Christian Mosley.
Kristen Nishikuni. Michelle Reed. Meng Wang. And James Weinstock. And Colby Yoshimura. Declan Zhao. All right, now I'll go ahead and introduce the recipients for the Dean Scholars Award. As I mentioned, the Dean Scholars Award is the top 12% of the class of 2020. So all of these recipients are also awarded the Beta Gamma Sigma uh, distinction as well. So let's go ahead and read you off the top 12% with many quotes and pictures as well. First up, Camille Compton. Christopher Duran. Meng Fang. Paula Hervius. Samuel Alireza Hosseini. Tony Liu. Christine Lai. Madison Murphy. Timothy Neal. Justin Wynn. Daniel Nystrom. Benji Perez. Elizabeth Pianalto. Daniel Sapasi. Stephanie Smolka. Azade Bosugian. All right, congratulations to all of our Beta Gamma Sigma and Dean Scholars recipients. And now we have one, this year one, top GPA. She graduated at the very top of her class, 
unrivaled by all of her peers. The top GPA of the class of 2020 is Camille L. Compton. Congratulations, Cami. All right, well, that ends the uh, Dean Scholar Beta Scamma Sigma and top GPA uh, recipients. All right, it is my honor right now to read off the recipients for the Excellence in Teaching Faculty and TA Awards, uh, along with the Student Voted Awards, the awards that you voted on, and finally, the Service Awards for Outstanding Service to the FEMBA Program and the Monash School Community. So we'll kick things off with the Faculty Awards. The Excellence in Teaching for a Core Class goes to Professor Chris Schwarz. The Excellence in Teaching for an Elective goes to Professor Max Chow. And finally, the Outstanding Teaching Assistant from the FEMBA Class of 2020 goes to Shia Wu. All right, we'll go ahead and read off the names now for each of the student voted awards. For each section, you guys voted for your most engaged, your big, best team player, and most innovative thinker. So we'll go each section, starting off with section 20A. So section 20A voted for their most engaged, and that recipient is Michelle Reed. Section 20A voted for their most outstanding team player, and that recipient is Selva Kumar. And for most innovative thinker for Section 20A, we do have a tie. The first recipient is David Gantz. Our next recipient for most innovative thinker for section 20A is Christopher Duran. All right, and now we'll move on to section 20B. Section 20B voted for their most engaged student and that recipient is Jonathan Kwong. For Outstanding Team Player, Section 20B voted for Christina Javier Catabe. Section 20B's Most Innovative Thinker, the recipient is Timothy Neal. And now we'll move on to Section 20C. Section 20C has a tie for most engaged. The two people you voted for were Kristen Del Doso. And Catherine Wong. For Section 20C, the most outstanding team player you voted for was Hana Khaled. And finally, Section 20C, uh, most innovative thinker, the recipient goes to Declan Zhao. All right, we'll move on now to the service awards. These are for exceptional service to the Mirage School and the FEMBA community. 
Um, obviously, our section leaders are, are listed in here and we greatly appreciate all of their leadership and service, as well as the other section leaders that provide tremendous value to us, the faculty, and the Dean's Office as well. So we'll start off with Section 20A, Michelle Reed. For Section 20A, we also want to recognize Spencer Tyson. For Section 20B, Jonathan Kwong. For Section 20B, we also recognize Christina Javier Carabe. And for Section 20C, we recognize Catherine Huang. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at all of the recipients who received specializations. So first off, we'll go ahead and review the list uh, for the MBA specialization in digital transformation. Next up is our MBA specialization in healthcare management and policy. And our MBA specialization in innovation and entrepreneurship. And finally, our MBA specialization in real estate and urban development. Congratulations to all of our award recipients this year. We wish we could have been with you, but we'll hopefully see you soon. And we hope you're having a wonderful day celebrating your accomplishments. Shake off top. David Aroba Kevin Barajas Alyssa Barbario Kristen Barub Shivangi Banatgar Akshay Bavsar Harsamring Jeet Singh Harrison Burka Mario Bustos Guillermo Camps Deanna Catalina Carella Christina Catabe I want to give a big thank you to my family, especially my parents, my boyfriend, my friends, and my teammates for all their support over the years. I couldn't have done it without you. Kieran Karachima Paul Cho Camiel Lee Compton Danielle Couture Scott Coy Kristen Marie Del Dasso Friends, family, faculty, and staff, thank you for making this a wonderful adventure. Cheers to the class of 2020, F20C. Doreen Doreen.
Christopher Duran. Thank you to my wife, Natalie, for all her patience these past few years. Thank you to my friends and family for all your support. And to my daughter, Sophia, and second daughter on the way, you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. Daddy loves you. Catherine E. Byer Heron. Yasmin Etashami. Thank my husband who actually joined the program to support me in this, my beautiful family, Ms. Patria Cabral and Mr. David Munger, and my amazing co-workers who were... Diego El Hashim. David Gantz. Charissa Janice Halim. Paula Ervias. Diana Higby. Samuel Ariza Hosseini. Congrats, class of 2020. We did it together. I'd like to thank my wife, Yasamin, my mom and dad, Shagayir Masud, and all my classmates for their support. Catherine Huang. Mitchell Hughes. Joseph Wang. Chaturi Kahudua. Gabriel George Casasea. Hannah Khalid. Riza K. Nizad. April Kim. Selva Kumar. Jonathan Kwong. V. Lee. Corey Leach. Nicole Lee. Rokai Liao. Tony Liu. Xiaobin Liu. Thank you, my family and dear friend. Together, we made it today. Cheers. Elizabeth Luce. Stephanie Luo. Kenny Luong. Max Mao. Ruben Maltos. Tina McLeland. Duncan McClure. Sean McCran. Michael Miller. Marcus Minami. Schwab Alexander Miskinyar. Michael Molina. I want to say thank you to my parents, my sister, my family, my friends, my colleagues, my classmates, and of course my study group. I could not have done it without you. Thank you. Carolina Montenegro. This moment proves we are smart and diligent, but we've hardly begun to tap our potential. Let's always show kindness and compassion for each other. Let's celebrate this moment. This moment is our history. We did it. Carlos Mauricio Monterosa. 
Bitash Mujeri Kara Morin David Morones Timothy Neal Thomas Neese Justin Wynn Elizabeth Wynn Congrats class of 2020 Cheers Lindsay Wynn Win Nong Daniel Nistrom Anthony O'Rourke Eddie Pack Jiang Jen Park Justin Passion Dana Thomas Gerard Pavlik Benji Perez Rajiv Andrew Peterson I just want to thank my family and my fiance. You guys have been, uh, you know, the main support for these last three years, and I couldn't have done it without you, and I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Elizabeth Pianalto. Michelle Reed. Yasaman Sadri. Alfredo Sandoval Daniel Sapasi Aaron Sobing Amik Sodi Anthony Sog Chanya Sam <music> Selena Sue Julie Tan Daniel Tantono Lotus Thigh Crystal Thomas Kristen Gabrielle Toledo Michael Trolley Spencer Tyson Jeffrey Hefe Voss Asazade Vusugian Meng Wang Yan Wen Teresa Wong Thanks, Mom and Dad, for your love and support throughout my entire life. Thanks to my brother, sister-in-law, nephews, friends, co-workers, and Group 5, my core group since first quarter. Yay, we did it! Tatsaya Todd Yamada I want to express my appreciation to my family, my friends, and my colleagues who have all helped me through this journey. Thank you so much. Dennis Young Mahan Zabidi 
Well, that concludes our celebration, and all of you should take pride in your accomplishment. You've shown the spirit and drive to graduate from one of the world's top business schools at one of the world's top universities, and we take pride in you. The Mirage School was a second home to you, and we sincerely hope you come back and visit often. You're always welcome. Now go celebrate. <laughs>